Stars, it's me, MT, and with Madam Web being Sony Pictures' first major Spider title after Spider-Man No Way Home cracked open the door to the multiverse in the MCU, everybody has been wondering just what the plans for Sony's cinematic Spider-Verse even are, especially after the post credit scene of Morbius caused us all to briefly question our own sanity when Michael Keaton's vulture appeared to disappear from the MCU into a much less cooler universe. Like, what the hell was that even about anyway? Well, my nerd babies, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think the post credit scene of Morbius actually makes sense. <laughs> Well, let's talk about it, my nerd babies, because I have a feeling that the events of Spider-Man No Way Home just started a whole mess of shit for everybody in the Spider-Verse and could leave our MCU Peter with some unexpected multiverse villains to deal with in Spider-Man 4 or beyond. But before we get into that, make sure to head on over to NewRockStarsMerch.com today to pick up our new latest Obsession shirts and also all of our amazing nerd gear over on that site. We have a bunch of spectacular nerd stuff just for you or somebody that you love at NewRockStarsMerch.com today. All right. So here's the deal, y'all. Peter Parker and Doctor Strange done messed up the entire damn Spider-Verse in No Way Home, and Madam Web is probably going to be the first one tasked with fixing their mess. But before we get into how they did that, let's talk about Madam Web, because Madam Web is, of course, set to star Dakota Johnson as the titular 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 because Madam Web is of course set to star Dakota Johnson as Madam Web Julia Carpenter Madam Web to be exact from the looks of Dakota Johnson's wearing Julia Carpenter's iconic red jacket in some of the behind the scenes images that we've seen from the set so far and if you know anything about that character from the comics you'll know that whoever has the title of Madam Web possesses the unique ability to see the fates of anybody tied to a little something called the web of life and destiny which is basically the cosmic thread that is the source of the powers of every single spider person as they are all connected to this web as spider avatars. In particular, it's the direct source of every spider person's spider sense, which has allowed all of our favorite spider men to have a slice of cosmic precognition, not only giving them the ability to find other spider people connected to the great web, but also the majorly helpful ability to perceive future dangers that are headed their way to an insane degree. Like the fact that MCU Peter Parker could detect the Black Order's arrival in Infinity War, the Green Goblin's imminent betrayal in No Way Home just proves that his powers are more than just science-based. Like there's some crazy supernatural shit going on here. And that supernatural element feeds spider people this precognitive information in the form of a spider sense. And we sort of see that happening when Doctor Strange pushes Peter into his astral form in Spider-Man No Way Home. As Peter's unconscious body is playing keep away with Doctor Strange, we can see Peter's spider sense squigglies over his astral body, like these little transparent squigglies. This is what I believe to be Marvel Studios' way of showing us Spider-Man's connection to the web of life and destiny. And it is this very connection to the great web that Madam Web gets her incredible precognitive powers from, as well as her ability to detect spider avatars and assemble them Nick Fury style despite Madam Web's blindness. But this will also likely mean that Madam Web will be one of the first spider avatars in the Spider-Verse to realize just how much 616 Peter Parker and Doctor Strange mess up the entire web of life and destiny because she has the strongest link to it. Hey you, yeah, I'm talking to you. I know by virtue of the fact that you're here that you are a fan of new rock stars, but you're more than that too. You've got your own hot takes, wild theories, and of course, you know what's cool right now. If you really want to show off how much of a new rock star you are yourself, then all you got to do to join the team is support the channel with some new rock stars gear from epicurelershop.com. And let me tell you this, the new gear is here. We've got all new enamel pins, but they're limited edition. These collectibles are numbered one to 500. And once they sell out, they are gone forever. But maybe you don't want pins. Maybe you want some crop tops. Well, we got those too. I know Whitney's very excited about those crop tops. And if you're not in SoCal like me and have to deal with all this cold weather bullshit, <laughs> Then we've got a special hoodie to show off that you know what the internet cares about right now. And if you're not in a cold climate, we've got some sweet mineral wash to stress tees and oversized tees to boot. And once you're all decked out, grab a blue screen and a wild theory about what's gonna happen in phase 10, and you're basically just, you know, doing my job. So if you wanna just take my job, just head on to epicurelershop.com, please don't take my job. <laughs> 
Snagging some merch from EpicureShop.com is the absolute best way to support the channel and wearing that merch is the best way to spot fans in the wild. So make sure you wear it to screenings, parties, or while sneaking into our office to yoink the last bag of Funyuns. Your Funyuns are mine, Brandon. <laughs> Recreate those iconic shots and tag at Epicure Shop to get featured on their page. Get everything that you need to be the stylish nerd that you know that you are at EpicureShop.com. Y'all know how the saying goes, what a tangled web we weave when we practice to deceive. And that goes double when you're trying to deceive the entire planet into forgetting that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Because here's the problem, gang. Because Peter 1, Peter 2, and Peter 3 refuse to leave the villains of No Way Home to their respective fates in order to save the villains' lives, they had to alter their destinies. Like Doc Ock, Electro, and Green Goblin were all supposed to die because we saw them die in their respective movies. That was the original destiny the Web of Life and Destiny had for these lives. However, by changing those lives and destinies, the Web of Life and Destiny got tangled as fuck changing the destinies of a bunch of people who knew that Peter Parker was Spider-Man throughout the entire Spider-Verse like some type of weird cosmic lottery, which is why MCU Vulture was sent to the wrong universe. Vulture knew from the end of Spider-Man Homecoming that Peter Parker was Spider-Man. So since the Web of Life and Destiny got all tangled up because all the Peters switched some destinies up, the Web of Life and Destiny twisted and changed Vulture's destiny, sending him to the Morbius universe where the food is significantly less better. This being said, if this is the case, we could see a major your Spider-Verse problem that could potentially bleed into the MCU as well. Because if people who know that Peter Parker is Spider-Man are being sent to different universes as a result of the tangling of the web and life and destiny, um, your boy Tom Holland potentially got some problems headed his way in the form of both Dane DeHaan's Harry Osborn and Topher Grace's Venom. Because I'm not sure if you guys remember, but both of those guys pretty much immediately wanted to kill Spider-Man when they found out his identity. So if Peter and Doctor Strange somehow altered their fates in no way home, there is a chance here that both Harry Osborn and Eddie Brock have been displaced from their native universes and brought to the MCU to fight Peter. Or hell, maybe one of them will even appear in Madam Web and try to kill the Spider-Man of that universe. Because we do know that Madam Web appears to be set in a universe eerily similar to that of Sam Raimi's Spider-Man universe with an early 2000s vibe. So it would be super interesting to see Dane DeHaan's Harry Osborn try to kill Tobey Maguire Spider-Man when Tobey Maguire Spider-Man was just a baby. I think that'd be a really fun way to continue that villain story without actually having having to confirm an Amazing Spider-Man 3 just yet. But either way, this is what I believe Sony's plans are for Madam Web and the weird ass ending of Morbius. I think that they have really interesting plans to switch villains up and like just, just tangle up the web of life and destiny in the MCU and beyond, I guess. But only time will tell. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You can follow me at Mastertainment on Twitter if you want to see me tweet some weird shit. But most importantly, you can follow the Rockstars wherever the Rockstars are on the social medias on the internet. But again, thank you guys so much for spending time with me and watching this video. I love you guys, times a million bajillion, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>